with your host, Adam Lubin. Hey, what's up guys? Adam here. And one of the things I always say is that the audio is just as important as the video. I actually mentioned it in one of my budget video tips episodes. Now I always say that audio makes about 50% of the actual overall video. So if you have really, really good video quality, but your audio is sounding really bad, then it's going to bring down the whole overall quality of the video. So it's always good to have really good audio quality. However, investing in good quality audio can be a bit on the pricey side. So today I'm going to be giving you guys what I think to be the best budget microphone under £20. And the microphone in question is from a company called HTDZ. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so kicking things off with the design. So the design is fairly simple. It has an all metal outer construction with a few pieces of plastic within the internals of the microphone. Now the microphone overall is fairly lightweight, so it's not gonna add any additional weight to your overall rig. And nonetheless, it is still fairly quite robust. We've got to drop this microphone quite a few times, especially when I was at the gadget show live trying to get it in my bag. And the microphone has held up really well. So given the fact that it's very lightweight, the microphone is still fairly robust. Now the microphone is fairly long, it comes in around about 15 inches long and while that can be very useful you're going to be out on the field interviewing people, it can also be a bit cumbersome if you mount it on top of the camera because it can make the microphone seem or look fairly unbalanced. In terms of the accessories that come with the microphone, it comes with a boom clip so you can go ahead and mount it to your boom pole or a tripod. It's also going to come with a hot shoe mount so you can go ahead and mount it to your DSLR camera or any camera for that matter that actually has a hot shoe mount with it. And you're also going to be getting a 20 foot long or 6 meter long XLR to 3.5 millimeter jack and that's going to be the jack that you go ahead and use to connect it to your recording device. So the cable is fairly long at 6 meters, as I mentioned before, it's going to be very useful if you're going to be walking around using this microphone for interviews, but if you're going to be mounting it stationary on top of the camera, you're going to have a lot of excess cable. So I actually went out and bought a much shorter cable at 50 centimeters, and that's pretty much the cable I'll go ahead and use if I'm going to be mounting the microphone on top of the camera, so I don't have all the excess cable hanging about the rig. So this microphone is actually self-powered. It uses one AA battery. You can actually get access to that by unscrewing the base of the microphone, inserting the battery, and then screwing it back up again. So one of the advantages of actually having a self-powered microphone, it means it's gonna be very versatile. And what I mean by versatile is that it's going to allow you to be able to get the microphone to a lot of different recorders. So first and foremost, you can of course connect it to your camera using the microphone input. You can also connect it to your PC via the sound card. You can also connect it to a mixer, for example. Since this microphone is an XLR microphone, you can use a male XLR to female XLR and connect it to your mixer to even get better sound quality through the mixer. You can also connect it to a USB sound card, which again you can use with your PC or you can also use with a console. And you can also actually use this microphone to connect to a portable recorder. And again, you can use that microphone as a way of getting audio for that recording source. So the microphone actually comes in two different modes. Uh, the first mode is the normal mode, which actually picks up sound all around the microphone from all directions. It'll pick up all, all different sounds, because that means you're gonna get a lot more background noise as well when it's in the normal mode. And you're also going to get the tele mode, which kind of blocks out a lot more of the background noise. And where the microphone is pointing, that's pretty much where it's gonna pick up all, or at least the majority of its audio. So you're not going to be getting other people speaking in the background. You're not really going to be picking up additional background noise. But if you go ahead and use it in the normal mode, you're going to be picking up a lot more background noise, a lot more people's voices, a lot more sounds that are going to be in the background noise. So it depends really what your scenario is. If you're going to be on camera like I'm talking now, which is one person looking at the camera, then you're best off using the tele mode. If you're going to be speaking to a wide audience, you're probably better off using the normal mode. So you're probably thinking, well, how does the microphone sound? Well, I've been using the microphone to record all of the audio in this video, so I'll let, allow you to be the judge of how you think the audio sounds. If you want to get a second opinion, I actually used the microphone whilst I was at the gadget show, and I've actually used it on a few more additional products that weren't part of YouTube, and the microphone's been very useful when I've been actually carrying out those types of videos. So for the sake of this scenario, I actually have the microphone set up in a way where I have it connected to my mixer, and then from the mixer to the PC. That's how I've actually got it running in this kind of circumstance, but when I'm using the microphone, out on the field, I either connect it to my Olympus recorder or I connect it directly to the DSLR camera. So all in all, I think for a price of between 15 and 20 pounds, you definitely can't argue with the actual quality coming from this kind of microphone. It's definitely a versatile microphone. I would definitely recommend it for someone who wants to get better audio without spending or at least breaking the bank by buying, having to buy an expensive high-end microphone or high-end audio setup. 
Anyway guys, it's been Adam here. Thank you for watching. Take care. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next tech video. Bye for now.